Oh my god. What have I done? Baby, please, come and let's leave this place. Baby, okay, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Baby, please. You, baby, you must have a forgiving heart. I beg you, please. You know how my brother is. I've been here more than one hour. Your brother? Come on, please, don't, don't, don't start talking about your brother here. You know I don't like him. He doesn't like you either. And that's why I don't want to get in contact with him. You know what? I can take you anywhere you wish to go to, okay? But this will be the very last time I'm dropping you at your house. Andy, you're sometimes weird. I just don't understand you. Can you drop the topic? You know what I think? I think you should work on your temper. I said let's drop the topic! Come on, hop in. Let's leave this place. I'm going to pick it up so that we leave. Five minutes. No problem. Um, baby, can you please open the door? Thank you. Hey. <laughs> you don't let me. If we said on my time, I told you I had an appointment. Oh, please, that's why I'm your sister. I do you want and I don't care. Well, there's it. Fill this, I'll tell him here by the weekend. Very much, it's Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go to the mall. Um, I came with Andy. Yeah, it's hard to me get into your thick skull that I'm so much in love with Andy. What? Came to pick something. Hey, 
haven't you heard this harmonizer? Ken, please. Tissue your pop, what's up? Do you know you're very stupid? Yes, I'm stupid, but I'm not as stupid as you are. Let's be the last time I'm seeing this Milo can of yours right in front of my gate, right? Please, you see, like I said, you are extremely stupid. I'm going up with Maya so you better get used to it. Ken, please, you know what? I'll see you on Friday, okay? And the please like you. You stop here again, you are dead me. So Andy, please, let's go. Andy, please, let's go. The next time I see your dirty foot in my house again, you are dead. Andy, please, let's go. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What's, what's the issue with me? Baby, step into the car. Listen, the very next time you try to my life, I swear to God, I will kill you. Keep it. You haven't killed the cockroach yet, man. I hope you told the mother. Yes, doctor. Okay, please do check on the patient in room 12 and let me know whether he's up, okay? Okay, doctor. Hey! Hey! Look who's here! Hi! Andy, Andy! <laughs> doctor Mensa, how are Long you? time, my friend. How are you? Well, it's like a job does not permit you to hang out with us these days. Well, you are right about that, but are you going to just keep standing? Come on, have a seat. <laughs> So, yeah. how is the job and your wife, Adra? Well, I'm good, my brother, as you can see. And my wife, she's doing great also. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it last week, Tuesday, I spoke with her and she said something of traveling? Or something yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's taking up a case in Nigeria. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Madam lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's new? Well, um... Frank, I think I have a problem. A problem? Yeah. What could it be? I think I have a mental problem. <laughs> you are always funny, Andy. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. I'm serious. You remember I told you about something I experienced some time ago while sleeping? Yeah, 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 yeah. That you woke up in bed and you were holding a glass. Exactly. Exactly. I think it has happened again. Man, I I feel like a wizard. I, I, I don't know what's happening to me. Did you take the medicine that I gave you? Yeah, I I, I I took it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I took it. Andy, are you sure? No, I, I didn't take it. But I'm not sick. But I feel like something supernatural is happening to me. And I, I don't believe in ghosts. I'm, so I'm lost. I'm totally lost. You have to try the medicine I give you, Andy. It could help. But I'm getting frustrated by the day. Just that Maya hasn't noticed it. Okay, look. I'm going to run some tests on you and give you a new prescription, okay? And then, uh, but you have to take the medicine. Oh, do you hear me? Oh, this time around, I promise you, I'm gonna take everything. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Wow.
Something wrong with him. You have to relax. It's not that bad. No, it is! It's either I get the money or you and I are dead. But it hasn't come to that yet. Shut the fuck up! You got me entangled in this business. You better go find the money. Because if it comes to it, I won't think twice to screw a bullet through your fucking skull. Look, look, Ken. I told you I'm doing everything possible. Look, the next package will leave soon. Don't make the riches there, the money comes in, okay? I'll pay you. You better do. Because there's so much coal burning my ass. And I won't spare you the heat of it. I just got you taking my shower. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said that you'll be coming over to my place today, right? What? Your brother? No, it's, it's all right. I mean, since your brother is now important and a man in your life, it's good. No, it's all right. I, I'm, not, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I'm fine. Fact, what am I even doing here? Let me just go out and enjoy myself and let that idiot get married to his sister. Whatever. I don't really know who's on my eyes. Let him be. Eh, uh, stop it. Don't smile at me. What you did this afternoon wasn't so cool at all. Oh, but I've told you, I, I just don't get it. I can't remember what, what you're talking about. Look at you, always pretending. No, I'm serious. Honestly speaking, I just don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. It's all right. It really doesn't matter. Where are you going? It's not necessary. Anyway, what's up for tonight? Well, I just came to hang out alone. From here, I'll be going back to my house and sleep alone. <laughs> sleep alone? What if I could go with you? Go with into where? Now, Ken, what is your fucking problem? My problem is you cheating on my sister and yet appearing holding on to her. Uh, who is he? Listen, I'm having a private conversation and I'm trying so hard to control my temper right now and to bring your best interest to get the fuck out of this place right now. I don't want to see you near my sister again. Never! I promise you, I'm gonna kill you. And that's a promise. You wanna kill me? You wanna kill me? Watch me do it. Oh my god. 
视频，好，好。Andy, what happened last night? What happened? Like what? Between you and Ken. Oh, he didn't tell you. He didn't tell me, so tell me what happened. Hey, Tina, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here? Screw you, Andy. Maya, 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 Maya listen, Maya. Who is she? Shut the fuck up. What the hell are you doing here? You go and get your things and get out of my house, Maya. Maya! Maya! Maya, you guys, don't touch me. Maya, Maya, it's not what you, it's not what you think, Maya. I can explain to you. Let me explain to you, Maya. You heard me. I said, don't touch me. You can explain what? I just saw everything. What do you think? Ma Maya, no, no, it's not what you think. I, let, 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 let me talk to you, Maya. Don't Let's... fucking try me. Maya, let me be the one to explain. You're wasting your time. Take your hands off. What's wrong with you? Maya, 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 listen to me, Maya. I, I, let, let me be the one to talk to you. It's, it's, it's not like that. It's not like, it's not like that. It's not what you think, Maya. Maya, please, Maya, Maya, listen to me. That was so stupid of you! Now you see what you've done. You've seen it. You've ruined my relationship. Come on. If she leaves you, I'm here to fill in. You're here to fill in? Yeah. You know what? Simply pack your things and leave this place now. You're joking, right? I'm joking. Do I look like a joker? Yeah. Fuck! Get back your things! It's okay! It's okay! Yeah. Call me when you need me. No, I will not call you. I will call your fucking mother. Bullshit. Do you see? Do you see what mess you've created? You never listen when I advise you. Just look at yourself. Just look at yourself. I said something good, right? I just don't want to see you around that guy again. Never again. Never around that guy again. You flout my orders and you're out of my house. Hello? Hello? What the hell is this? Big time, but, but that's because of that stupid and silly brother she has. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. I'll see what I can do. All right. All right. I swear to God, I would do something crazy to that guy.
I told her I would not come to my house again. Listen, I'm here to see Maya. Do you know you are mad? I mean, what? I don't even know what to say to you. My sister doesn't love you anymore. You better put that in your stupid skull. Listen, I'm not in for your bullshit today, all right? I'm here to see Maya. Maya is not here. Oh, she's in. But that's my fucking house. And I say you can't enter, huh? What's the fucking problem, man? Are you going to marry your sister? Hell no! But I want a scammer like you too. Now you move this car out of here before I release my dogs on you. You know what? I'm more dangerous than you think. I'll deal with you. I promise I will deal with you. You go and deal with your mama first, yeah? Because you have my sister no more. Loser like you, yeah? What's that? A stupid boyfriend. Can I have my clothes? No! God. Not until you've totally forgotten about him. Little girl, I'm gonna get you a new boyfriend. I don't want any of your friends. Look, there's this guy, he's really cool. Man, he's going to take very good care of you. For that, I. I'm still in love with Andy. What? You heard me. I said I'm still in love with Andy no matter what. I know that for a fact because you've been very so stupid. Actually, I think it's infested into stupidity. That's why you and him, perfect couple. But you know what? I'm the bad news. Because I took you to school and I paid your fees. In a few weeks time, you'll be graduating as a lawyer. Wait till you win your first case. After that, you can go hang around wherever you want to go. Who cares? But then so far as you're under my roof, you're going to forget about him. Because wherever I find him, I'm going to fight him. Don't you cheat on your girls. Don't you? Well, at least I'm not caught. And besides, I'm not broken hearted. <laughs> you better get ready, I'm taking you out. I'm not going out with you, please. You better do. Fuck the experiment to be at this time of the night. Hello? Hello?
Yeah. yeah. Um, Ken has been rushed to the hospital last night. Someone shot him last night. Yeah. Uh, I'm at a summer clinic right now. Please. Please, I need you to be here. I need you to be by me. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. It's okay. I'm fine. Shot. I got to the hall, Ken was lying in a pool of blood. God, he's been rushed to the hospital. He's in the emergency room. The doctors are attending to him. How is he doing now? Doctor, how is he? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He lost a lot of blood. What? So? so what? Like, what are you trying to say? Annie. Detectives are gone, but uh, she's still around. So, excuse me, please come. Morning. Morning. Um, do you live here? Yes, I live here. I see. Well, I just want to ask you some uh, few questions. I don't know anything. No. <laughs> I know you don't know anything, but uh, what's your name? Solima. 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 Well, uh, my name is uh, Detective Kwame. I know. Um, if I may ask, um, that man that was shot yesterday, do you know him? No, I don't know his name, but I know he lives in this house. You know these rich people, they don't make friends with the poor. Yeah, it's even in the Bible. But if I may ask, um, last night did you hear, did you see anybody coming out from the house or you heard a sound or any noise? This guy. Yes, this guy. Officer, this guy. You. Yes. Officer, I saw you. You. Officer, it was him. You were the one. You came out of this house, then entered the car. That was when I heard a gunshot. What, 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 what? I saw you. You came out of this house, entered your car and drove away. That was early morning, around 4.30. Baby, do, do, do you know this woman? Andy, is it true? Baby, are you asking me that question? This, 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 this woman doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Woman, are you sure about what you're talking about? I'm sure. 
I'm very sure. Listen, officer, we are in our morning period, okay? I'm not in the mood for this thing. This woman must be insane or something. Let's just get out of this. Baby, come inside. All right, woman. Um, thank you very much. We'll see you later. Yeah. Get it. I know nothing about his death. Nothing. Were you in that house last night? No. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Listen, I'm look, I'm, I'm confused, dog. Okay? I'm totally confused. You, you keep asking me questions, I'm telling the same thing, and you still asking me the same question. I don't know what else you want me to say. Listen, you seem not to obey the rules here. The next time you scream again, I'll kick your balls. Mr. Andrews Opari, is there any reason why such an allegation should be leveled against you, especially by a neutral person? Officer, can I get my lawyer? to my brother. Portable house, nice car. Will I say this is a blessing from heaven? Well, for me, I think I have a question for my maker when I get to heaven. Kofi, that is if you get it. The master key. Wait a minute. That girl, um, Sulema or whatever, she said the car she saw was shiny. Meaning silver, right? Wow. And it happens to be arresting. The master key. Yeah. At least, if we can't start it, we can open it. And this is the only positive thing Ghana police have. Mm. 
All right, let's see what we have inside. I was expecting a messed up house, but everywhere is clean, and the guy seems to be decent. Well, I agree with you, but why was such a decent guy murder his girlfriend's brother? Well, he's just a suspect. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's split up and look for more evidence. Okay, let's see. I'll start from here. No, no! I said it's not true, it's not true! Andy, everything is pointing against you now. Do you understand? So how the hell did the police get access into my property? That one is not important now. What is important here is that you are a suspect. And they have substantial evidence linking you to the murder. Confide in me, I'm your lawyer. Did you do it? Did you kill your girlfriend's brother? What? Why you find it so difficult to believe me? Why? I mean, wh why would I do a thing like that? Okay, according to your girlfriend, she said you are not in good time with a brother. Lawyer? There are whole lots of people I'm not in good terms with. Why haven't I killed them? Why? You'll be arraigned before court on Tuesday. I will try my best. But I have no knowledge of the details, evidence of the state. Mr. Barry, this is going to be very, very difficult. But if you are innocent, justice will prevail. That's if you have faith. I don't have faith! I don't have faith! Don't preach to me about faith! I don't go to church! For what reason? I don't know. I still can't understand this. It's good that bitch is in cell. And it's gonna rot in jail! Motherfucker! Ladies and gentlemen, never use that word here again. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Maya wouldn't listen. She just wouldn't listen! Maya. Maya, I can't believe you went in for a boyfriend who could kill your own brother. Now look at the loss you have brought to the entire family. Tell me, Maya, where am I going to find my son now? Tell me! Do you think I'm happy? Do you think so? Albus lost a brother. And you're here telling me I killed him, right? Well, thank you. All I'm saying is, your stupid action caused your brother's death. Mom, I've had enough of this, okay? Please, I've had enough of that. Don't tell me what to do. Don't jump into conclusion. And he could be very innocent. He could be so innocent. A person is not guilty until the court proves so. If really Andy killed Ken, the court will decide on that. Shut up! Shut up, Maya. Dad, you have to listen to me. You have no idea what I'm going through now. I've lost my brother. And my boyfriend is in jail as we speak now. Do you guys know how I feel? All I know is you and your boyfriend killed my son. And I'll make sure that boy rots in jail. I guarantee you that, Maya. He's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. God. So I have lived to bury my own son. Wow. How could oh God, try me. That motherfucker killed my brother. My only brother. He was in fucking jail. I'm telling you.
This is High Court 6 of Accra District in section. Judge Nana Bansu presiding. All be seated. Case number 560078. Mr. Andrew Opari versus the Republic. Your Honor, the defendant's lawyer is reported dead. What? He's reported to have died from a heart attack last night. Okay then. This case is adjourned till two weeks because the lawyer of the defendants is deceased. God rise. I didn't know you could make it. Yeah, I just sort of passing by to bring you some of the breeze from the graduation field. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so awesome. I missed you so much. Everybody's asking of you. Have a seat. Mm. Oh. I hope you didn't break the news of my brother's death to them. Hell no. I only told them that you're somewhere abroad. Are my parents on the hall? Yes, but they didn't look cheerful. Neither are you. I know. You're making me feel like I killed my brother. That is so insane of them. Oh, Maya. I'm so sorry for everything that has happened. They've not even bothered to ask me about my graduation. Can you believe that? Maybe they don't know. Oh, please. They know it. Just that they're blaming me for everything. No. I know Andy couldn't have killed Ken. Certainly there must be a problem somewhere that I have to find out. I learned he was taken to the court today. Yeah. And I've not been there since they took him in. Gosh, I'm feeling so bad. I'm so confused. I don't even know what to do. And you know what? The lawyer to defend him must have died of heart attack or something. Mm -hmm. Maya, I think you should go and see him. Yeah, I know. Andy has no relatives that I know of. He'll think I've abandoned him. Maybe you should talk to him to find out if he actually did it. I've thought of that. You know what, Lisa? No? Oh? I'm thinking of defending him on the trials. What? Hell no, you can't do that. Yeah. 
I saw the look in his eyes when the woman said he saw him. I know he can't do it. Yes, but this guy is the supposed killer of your brother. This is going to be a very big blow to your family. A betrayal. Mason, my love comes first before my family. I can't sit around hanging on hope. Maya, this is going to be a very wrong move. So what do you expect me to do? Sit down? My brother is not going to return to life. Certainly not. Maybe someone killed Ken, not Andy. Yes, you should leave that for the court to decide. Yes, I'm going to take up my first case. It's not my boyfriend versus my family, but it's my boyfriend versus the state. It's so painful that I've lost Ken. But I can't just sit down and lose Andy. Maya, you're going to pour fuel on your family and then light it. Certainly not. Are you going to assist me? So sorry for everything. Don't be. Maya, so, so you came to see me? Yeah. I'm sorry. I know I should have been here early, but you know it's hard for me. Maya, I swear to God, I didn't kill Kim. I know I didn't like him, but I didn't murder him. For you to tell me the truth. I know you have no motives of killing my brother. But I don't know what to believe. Believe me. Believe me, baby. You know me. I know I may not be the best of characters, but I can never be a murderer. I hear your lawyer died. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get a new one. Angie. Thank you. What? No, you, you, you can't defend me. It's alright, Andy. I believe you. No, Maya, it's, it's not possible. You just graduated from law school, you're not even a lawyer yet. No law in this country states that one must be a lawyer to defend someone. Knowing the law is enough for me to defend you. But this is not an ordinary case. It's about your brother's murder we're talking about to you. It's about freedom for my love, Angie. Okay. Have you taken consideration what will your family say? What would they do? Okay. Just drop the idea. It's not a good one. I'll get myself a lawyer. Look at me, Andy. Do you want to stay here forever? Damn. Because I don't want you to stay here forever. something I need to tell you. 
Speak. I'm taking up my first task as a lawyer. Okay, good luck. Okay, um... And I'm defending Andy at the trials. What?! Well, uh, I just thought I should let you guys know. Stay there! To ask my I'm not doing anything against you guys. I'm not fighting against you. Andy is innocent and I know that. I can't let my boyfriend work in jail because my brother is dead. And if there's anything at all, the court will have to decide. Yes. Yeah. And point of correction. I'm not fighting against you. It's me against the state. It is the state's responsibility to investigate these matters. Listen, your brother's ghost will be disappointed in you after spending his hard-earned money on your education. Is that how you pay him back? Please! My brother Ken was a whole lot of things and he knows that. Anybody at all could have murdered him. And even his ghost knows that. If indeed he has one. Maya. Excuse me.
Good afternoon, Mom and Dad. Um, there's something I need to tell you. Speak. I'm taking up my first task as a lawyer. And I'm defending Andy at the trials. What? Well, I, I just thought I should let you guys know. Stay there! against your own family! Is that what you're telling me? Maya, are you insane? God! Why are you doing this to us, Maya? I'm not doing anything against you guys. I'm not fighting against you. Andy is innocent, and I know that. I can't let my boyfriend work in jail because my brother is dead. And if there's anything at all, the court will have to decide. Yes. Yeah. And point of correction, I'm not fighting against you. It's me against the state. It is the state's responsibility to investigate these matters. Listen, your brother's ghost will be disappointed in you after spending his hard-earned money on your education. Is that how you pay him back? Please! My brother Ken was a whole lot of things and he knows that. Anybody at all could have murdered him. And even his ghost knows that. If indeed he has one. My Excuse me. I guess you! I guess you! You're not worthy to be my daughter. Mr. Parry, do you know this man? Look, we are not deaf or dumb. I want you to open your mouth and answer. Do you know him? Yes. Do you have any relationship with him? No. Have you ever spoken to him? Yes. What did you talk to him about? Nothing. He wasn't my friend. Oh, okay. So how do you know him? He was my girlfriend's brother. Oh. So you had a relationship with him after all. So tell me, on the dawn or night of his murder, where were you? My house. Doing what? We sleep at night. Obviously, I wasn't playing basketball. That was hard. Mister, tell me, where were you on the day or night of his murder? I, I don't know. You don't know? Yes, I don't know. So that means you could have been there. Objection! He doesn't have to make conclusions for him. Sustain. Cancel. Reframe your question. Thank you, Your Honor. Why don't you know? Because I... I was asleep. You are not making sense, Mr. Barry. No, you're the one who's not making any sense. That's why you are. I'm making enough sense. I know what I'm saying. That'll be for now, Your Honor. Recess. Why didn't you say you didn't know? Why that answer? Andy should have just said no. Not because I didn't know my I don't know whether I was at your brother's house or my house. Andy, is there something you're not telling me? Come on, Andy. Come. Maya, maybe I killed Ken. Let's go. Move it.
counsel for the defense. Mr. Parry, do you have any reason why you murdered the deceased? No. Do you remember being at the house of the deceased on the day he was murdered? No. But you know his house? Yes. How? Because I... I've dropped his sister off on a number of occasions. So, before the murder took place, when was the last time you went there? I... I can't remember. Some... Say a week or nine days or so, but I, I just can't remember. Why? Because my girlfriend and I were having a problem. Hmm. Have you ever entered that house? No. Thank you. Your Honor, I think I'm done. <sighs> Mr. Parry, where can we locate your girlfriend? She's sitting right here. She's my attorney. Look, I want to see both councils in my chambers now. God rise. Mm -hmm. You are defending your brother's murderer. A person is more guilty until proven. No, pass your signals. What the hell is Lisa? Kiss my tears and kiss the pain away. I'm in pain, but my love is from the heart. Do you think he's already given up? I don't know. I guess he has an explanation. I just hope so. I hope so. Kiss my teeth and kiss the pain away. I'm in pain, but my love is from the heart. What? Why do you have to throw my things out of this house? You don't deserve to be under this roof. Maya, you are a disgrace to the Asante family. Mom, I'm not a disgrace to this family. This house was built by my brother on a family property. And so I have every right to live in this house. Nobody has the right to move my things out of the house. Listen, Maya. Your father lies cold in the morgue. Your brother is gone. All because of the same boy. And here you are. God, Maya. Mom, with all due respect, please go and bring my things back into this house the way you threw them out. Oh! Or what, Maya? Or what? Oh, are you going to take us to court and battle us on this too? Are you? Mom, please. I can see you have been folded with this stupid love. You can't even think straight again, Maya. This world is really coming to an end.
Somnambulism. What? I've tried to hide it from you, that is why. I sleepwalker. What? I'm a sleepwalker. I think I sleepwalked to King's house the night he was murdered. On the morning of Kane's murder, I woke up and saw blood all over my place. And I remember washing my hands saw the blood the night before. gone some way I didn't even remember. All I knew was when I woke up, I saw, I saw blood all over me, all over my body. Then I, I thought to myself, I, I, I think I might have killed Kim. But the lady confirmed it, Maya. She saw me. She saw me, Maya. I no. killed Kane. No. All what she said was she saw you sit in the car and drive off. It's the same thing. I... I came out of the house and then... And, and then I, I, I sat in the car after killing Kane. No, no. It's not the same. Andy, it's not the same. Maybe you were there when it happened. Or maybe you even witnessed it. Maybe you witnessed a murder, but it could it have been you. It can be you. No! I have to plead guilty in the court. So that I face my consequences. It's not possible. You can't do it. I'm going to fight this with you through the end. Please don't give up. Maya. I'm going to be by your side. So please. No. No. No, you know. You didn't do it, Auntie. You didn't do it. Frank, why didn't you tell me? 
Well, I considered Andy a patient, and he wanted it to be kept a secret whilst we do something about it. But the truth is that it has no cure. It's hereditary. Jesus. I'm really sorry. Um, Frank, you said um, he comes here and you give him drugs and you run tests on him. Yeah, 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 yes I did. But the thing is that I doubted that Andy was taking those drugs. You know Andy and his drug taking phobia. Do you have the records of those drugs you gave him and the test you ran on him? Yeah, yeah, I have them. And I can make it available if you want. Good. That's very good. Because I'll need everything to make sure he comes out. Okay. I also need you to be at the court. I hope you can make it. Yes, I will. Come on. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Maya. Have a nice day. Okay. Yes. Take care of yourself, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> Yep. Mike, um, can you check something for me on the internet, please? Mm, okay. Um, check for the word um, somabolism. Sin what? Somabolism. Somabolism. Oh, okay. Yeah. I will. No, but I want you to trust me. Okay. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll give you a call later, okay? All right. All right. Bye. states clearly that the sleepwalker is unable to respond during the event and does not remember sleepwalking. So now we've got to state the sleepwalking thing in court. Will they buy it? If only we can prove it. But we're not therefore going to admit Andy's involvement. I mean, if he was sleepwalking, then he probably might have killed Ken. You know what? If indeed Andy sleepwalks, then it means he wasn't in control of his actions. So where are we going to stand? Well, the doctor will be in court. I'm also going to bring in the witness to testify what she said she really saw. Maya, don't you think we should drop this? Lisa, why are you discouraging me? I thought you were with me. Yes, I am, but I feel so stupid following about defending the possible killer of your own brother. And with this sleepwalking thing popping up and oh yeah. I gotta go now. I hope you don't mind. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh god. Help us all a sleepwalker. my consequences. <coughs> it's not possible. You can't do it. I'm going to fight this with you through the end. Please don't give up. Maya. I'm going to be by your side. So please. It's okay, it's okay. I'm on my way to your house. Yeah. Thank you. Maya, come on in. Fill at home. Thank you. Um, what can I get you? I have champagne. I have 
black label, I have the red one. <laughs> Name it. Don't worry, if you just will do. Fridges. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So you did all this assignment for me? Oh yes, um, have you gone through them? Yeah, I mean just the first part. Well, I, I hope you find what you're looking for in there. I hope so too. So, um, how is the trial going? Oh, <laughs> it's coming out so well. Oh yeah, I, I hope for the best too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I I I feel so I mean this is sweet. Yeah. So sweet, I say. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Gosh. I I I feel so funny. <laughs> wow. So funny. <laughs> see. I feel so um. honey. Even like a little girl now. What? It's, it's sex. Hello, haven't you had it before? Mike. Mike, I thought you were my friend. Yes, I'm still your friend and I'll forever be your friend. I never had a chance to tell her how I feel about you. I mean, you never gave me the shot. So I decided to, you know, take it. Yes, there was a little thing I put in the drink that you took last night. So you see, I did not rape you. But I must say, indeed, you're very sweet. You know, girls like you, like people like me, as friends but you are wrong it took me three solid years to bait you <laughs> Maya I broke the code God Mike Mike you you will regret this Mike you will regret it I swear you will regret every every bit of it Mike you will regret it But I'm still your friend. <laughs> oh God, please prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy. This, this one. Do you swear? 
that the evidence you shall give in this case shall be the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Please introduce yourself to the court. I'm Sulema. Sulema Nikita. Madam, do you know this man? I've seen him before. Can you tell the court where you saw him? In front of the house, opposite my chaos. Are you sure he's the one you saw? Very sure. Madam, can you describe how you saw him? I was sleeping. Suddenly there was a noise. Po! The noise woke me up. Then I realized it was a gunshot. So I opened my door, just a little to pee. And I saw this man walking out of the house. He sat in his car and drove away. Was it at the same time you heard a gunshot? Yes. Thank you. Your Honor, that'll be all for now. Counsel for the defense. Thank you, Your Honor. So, what's your name again? Suleiman. Okay, Suleiman. You said you saw the man come out of the house and sit in his car. Yes. I want you to remember that day and that very moment. Did you see him coming out of the house? I mean, coming out of the house. Objection. She has already answered that question, Your Honor. Overrule. You may proceed. I need a clear confirmation of a statement, Your Honor. Thank you. Did you see him coming out of the house? I saw him. I saw him. He was sitting in his car. He drove away. So you didn't see him coming out of the house? Yes. When you saw him sitting in his car, I mean, how was he looking like? Was he walking? Was he looking around for something? Can you explain yourself better? He was walking very stiff. He was strange. As if being controlled by a remote. <laughs> he was walking like a robot. Oh. So my client, Mr. Parry, was walking like a robocop. <laughs> I mean, he's a robot. Thank you. Your Honor, this woman here saw my client, Mr. Parry, like a robot. And she never saw him coming out of the house. She saw him walking like a ghost in our movies. As a matter of fact, she has established the fact that my client was outside the deceased resident. Your Honor, my client was there, but does not remember being there that very moment. Here is the medical report of my client. It's called somnambulism. He's a sleepwalker. What? Yes. He has a history of sleepwalking. He could not have committed the crime since he was not on the compound according to the witness. It's highly probable that Mr. Parry, my client, was there at the outside of the compound due to the fact that he was. Who knows? He was because maybe he was experiencing some problem with his girlfriend. Then he sleepwalked into the case and then came back home. Your Honor, I think I'll rest my case here for now. Thank you. Case again till 12th October. Next case. Mr. Bodazan versus the Republic. Andy, please let's go. Andy, please let's go. The next time I see your dirty foot in my house again, you are dead. Andy, please let's go. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What's, what's the issue with me? Let me step into the car. 
Listen, the very next time you try to my life, I swear to God, I will kill you. Andy, what happened last night? What happened? Like what? Between you and Ken. Oh, he didn't tell you? He didn't tell me, so tell me what happened. Hey, hey, Tina, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here? Wow. Screw you, Andy. Ma, 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 ma. I'm still in love with Andy. What? You heard me. I said I'm still in love with Andy no matter what. I know that for a fact because you've been very so stupid. Actually, I think it's infested into stupidity. That's why you and him, perfect God. Andy cannot kill. Can I help you understand me in this? And she didn't kill you. You know it, right? You know it. If you should keep a distance from me. Ah. Have we suddenly become enemies? I'm not your enemy, Mom. If you have one in this house, that's none of my business. Anyway, I just want to inform you that I'll be leaving tomorrow. I wish you a safe journey. Maya, you took up your career on the wrong step. You really betrayed us all. Your brother is very mad at you because he cannot comprehend why you are defending the presumed killer of your brother. Mom, please don't talk to me about Dan, okay? Dan has never picked the phone to call me in his lifetime. If we hadn't lost him, would he have stepped a foot in this house? Maya, is that what you're telling me? Please, I have a lot of things on my mind. I think I need a nap. I'm going to bed. I'll call you when I arrive. I don't make it out of here. I want you to know that I really appreciate your efforts. No, no, don't say that. You get out of here, okay? Listen, I've got enough comparable cases to prove that you left off the hook. Trust me. I trust you. Just that. Shh. Walking is a sleep disorder that causes a person to get up and walk during the sleep. As silly as it may sound, it's for real. It most commonly occurs in childhood, but there's a possibility that it lasts into adulthood. Symptoms of sleep walking could range from quiet walking about to roam to agitated running or even attempts to escape. Typically, the eyes of the person are open but with a blurred vision. Upon questioning, responses are rather absent or slow. Now, if, a person, if the person is returned to bed without being awakened, he or she usually does not remember anything. Now, let's look at some of the causes of sleepwalking. Several factors may be involved in the development of sleepwalking. These may include genetics, you know, traits that run in the family, environmental, and medical condition. Genetic sleepwalking more frequently occurs 
in identical twin. But it's 10 times more likely to occur when a first degree relative has a history of sleepwalking. Therefore, it says that a condition might be inherited. Now, environmental factors such as sleep deprivation, chaotic sleep schedules, stress, or even alcohol intoxication may cause a person to sleepwalk. So basically, that's the summary of some of us. So, doctor, did Mr. Parry report to you that he was sleepwalking? No, he wouldn't have known. But he did say that he would go to bed and find himself in the morning, in the bath, or in the hall. It's only on one occasion that he said he found himself in his compound, holding shades and cutting flowers in the middle of the night. So, doctor, can someone sleepwalking drive at a long distance in his sleepwalk, as you put it? Yeah, 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 yeah. A person may drive, you know, at locations familiar to him or her without consciously being aware. It happens. Doctor, have you ever seen anybody sleepwalking before? No, not in the physical sense, but I've seen videos of people who sleepwalked during my studies in London. But I must confess that Mr. Opari is the first patient I've come across since I started practicing medicine in Ghana. Oh, I see. So Ghanaians don't sleepwalk. <laughs> order! Order! <laughs> not that so. I don't remember saying that. But the thing is, everyone can be in that condition, except that you usually wouldn't know till you seek medical attention or help. Doctor, is Mr. Parry your friend? Objection, Your Honor. He's derailed from the subject of importance. Omuru, proceed. Doctor, is Mr. Parry your friend? Yes, he is, and a very close one too. So, Doctor, are you here for him as a friend or as a doctor? I'm here upon request from his attorney to clarify issues that concern him medically. Or you could also be here as his close friend, as you put it, to try and give reasons for his release. Sir, I am a professional doctor. I respect my license and the oath that I took. I'm here as a doctor and not a friend. Your Honor, that'll be all for now. Recess. God rise. Um, he made some very clear statements. But um, I'm going to ask him one or two questions. What do you think you're doing? Please let me call you back. What? Look, you are a young, smart looking girl. You should be smarter than this. Look, this is Ghana. We don't pull tricks in court. Yeah, Lisa. Yeah. Doctor, I want to know this. Did you say a person sleepwalking cannot remember where he has been? Exactly. When he is not awakened during his period of sleepwalking, he definitely wouldn't remember anything. God. And you also said that person sleepwalking can drive? Yes, of course. Um, most times they are harmless, but we cannot rule out violence. Thank you, Doctor. That's all I need to know. Thank you, Your Honor. Your final points. <clears throat> Your Honor, a crime is a crime, whether a person caused it while sleepwalking or not. Now, Mr. Parry initially denied having been there, but based on our witnesses' fact, they come back and tell the court in Ghanaians that he was there, but that he's a sleepwalker. What a bluff! A gun was found in Mr. Parry's house. This gun was found in Mr. Parry's house. It takes nine bullets. But guess what, Your Honor? There's only eight in it. The remaining one was found in the body of the deceased. This is a total link between the murder and the murderer. And nothing can dispute this fact. Your Honor, now that Mr. Opari has declared that he was there, who else? Can determine whether indeed he took the shot or not. No one but him. I can.
conclude that he took the shot, Your Honor, and later on drove and hid the gun in his car. Your Honor, I hope you've heard me. Thank you. The defense counsel. Your Honor, Massachusetts versus Terrell, 2005. Fame versus Commonwealth, 1996. State versus Bradley, 1994. And Regina versus Parks, 1987. All these are cases of automatism, that is sleepwalking or somnambulism. Good. The later Parks drove for 14 miles and slashed the throat of his mother-in-law. He was sleepwalking at that time. In this case, he wasn't conscious of his actions. Now, Mr. Paris sleepwalked to the murder location. It cannot be established whether he entered the house. It could have been a coincidence that he was in the house the same day the murder happened. Your Honor, it's been confirmed by doctors and other researchers proved that my client, Mr. Parry, cannot even remember what happened on that fateful day. In this case, I say, my client is like an innocent child who walks into the middle of the street and does not know whether a car might hit him down. I take this and I stand on the point saying that my client is innocent and not guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. The final verdict will be announced after recess. Not so. But the possibility of me losing you when I'm sentenced to death. Say that. You see, I've not been the best partner for you. I didn't realize you could love me so much. I didn't know you could do all this. Take back the hands of time. I am sorry. I love you, Wendy. You'll be free. And we'll be together forever. With God on our side. Mr. Parry, do you have anything to say before I deliver my judgment? No, Your Honor. Having considered the evidence in this rather prolonged trial, I have concluded that the prosecution have a case beyond reasonable doubt that you committed the murder. Hmm. Now, this is my judgment. By the power vested in me, I hereby sentence you, the accused, to death by hanging. No! 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 These important people in my life. It's all right. You did your best. No. No, Lisa, it's not all right. I've lost Ken. I've lost Andy. I've also lost my dad. It's okay, it's okay. God, this world is unfair. Okay. 
God, forgive me all my sins. Forgive me. Accept me as I am. A changed man, I come to you. Oh, Father, I come to you. I'm here to help you, brother. smiling at you and being by your side. Go. Go now, Maya. I have only one hour left. I love you, Andy. I want to be by your side to the end. to grant me one last wish. I want to spend this last hour of my life alone.
Andy. There. Hello? Good laugh for Mandy. Sweetheart, it's me, Andy. I'm not a ghost. No, 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 Andy. No, it's not you. You were hanged. No, sweetheart. I wasn't hanged. It was my other twin. I'm here to help you, brother. He killed Kin. They had a lot of secrets going on between them. Criminal activities. That's what he told me. And they were, they were on the hunt for each other. Ashley is yet to testify. I'm sorry, Maya. It's true. Remember the night we came home drenched in blood? Can't kill three members of one family in our robbery operation. I refused to share the money from the loot. That was where the enmity began between him and Andy's brother. They've been at each other since till that. I ran away from that gang a long time ago and never to go back again. They are all dead and gone, sweetheart. We are alive. A life to our dreams, our hope and happiness. I'm so sorry. Sorry for everything. Andy. I'm sorry too. I love you. Yeah. I love you too, baby. Oh my god. I do. 